like that. So what's happening here? So we're putting that motor um, onto this gearbox via an adapter plate, which we, was made a long time ago, but we're repurposing it right now for this one. So we've got to do a bit of modification. At the moment, it's it's already got its position set, but that's not going to be accurate enough by the time we um, have put the motor on. And we're going to re need to re-establish the position. Yeah, so those dowels that go in there. So it? I'm actually going to weld up these locating holes, and then remake them. Yep. They'll probably end up a mill out or something. Yeah, yeah. So. So a mill is like way out in this kind of job, isn't it? Yeah. So. The adapter, the, the gearbox comes with a couple of lugs, locating lugs. I've dummy, made dummy ones for now to, uh, to mark this plate. Yeah. So they're going to go in there. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we've got, we've got our coupling coming for the, um, that's our clutch plate, which we're going to use to make our coupling and our coupler's going to go on there. So, so that'll have a spline that'll fit, I mean, a, a keyway that'll fit yeah, the motor that's keyway. Yeah, that's a keyway on there. So that's the trick is to get the keyway to fit onto the, onto the spline shaft, which is the gearbox shaft there. So we've trimmed that, we've cut that down because the motor and the, we've bu cut both the motor and the gearbox. Yeah, because yeah, we've got a close fit. There you go, that's it. It goes on there. Yep. Yeah. Thank you.